the Eiffel Medal is also awarded to Inga London. Inga London has served on a range of Eiffel sections and on the Eiffel governing board from 2011 to 2015. During this time, she was deeply involved in the development of the Eiffel Trend Report, an influential document that aimed to prompt librarians to think differently about the environments they work in and possible futures. Inga was the director of the Stockholm City Library and her drive was to bring a more user-driven perspective to the international library field. She brought IFLA, the Swedish Library Association and the Kenyan Library Associations together as part of IFLA's Building Strong Library Associations program that has resulted in a long-standing partnership between the two associations and IFLA. Inga has also helped others to learn from the experience of Sweden in developing national legislation to support libraries and their activities. As president of the Swedish Library Association, Inga played a vital and major role in bringing the IFLA Congress to Gothenburg in 2010. She worked with the Global Libraries Program, supporting projects, mentoring new professionals in developing countries and regions, another demonstration of her commitment to international librarianship. She is known as a positive force within the IFLA community, sharing her expertise with colleagues around the world and is a worthy recipient of the IFLA medal. Inga, the floor is yours. Let's work together. That's the motto of our president, Christine McKenzie. That's a beautiful motto, describing the meaning and the value of IFLA, of the library associations, of our profession. Dear friends, dear friends and colleagues out there, my name is Inga Lundén and I come from Sweden. I am so very honored to be here today to accept the IFLA medal. Although I'd like to meet all of you personally, I can feel your warmth and collegial friendship. Let's work together. Why? If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Libraries are both very local and at the same time very international. We want to reach far. To work internationally is rewarding. It was for me, it was for my organization. The question is the same all over the world. What can your library do to improve people's life? I give you an example. When people ask about my favorite library, I tell them about one of the libraries in the Aaron Land Information Network, Alien, outside Nairobi. The library building itself was only some containers and a mast for the internet. From that they worked together with teachers, kids, farmers, housewives and shepherds to create the best possible impact on the life of the community. That was the inspiration for our next library in Stockholm, the much awarded suburban Shista Library making partnerships with the Muslim school, the tech companies, the football club, the street poetry. Let's work together in library associations. And the greater cooperation between library associations is IFLA. IFLA at its best is a di as diverse as the world we are working in. Together with the legacy from Global Libraries, Bill and, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, IFLA will encourage and support new networks of creative and brave emerging library innovators. Embracing the diversity of the global librarianship and learning from it. Working together with partners locally and globally finding new answers to the everlasting questions. What can we do to improve people's life? Thank you.
Inga, my kind, generous and strong friend, I'm delighted to congratulate you on this award. You have changed lives around the world and inspired many in the profession to think creatively and look beyond boundaries. Your colleagues and IFLA, thank you.